Ladies and gentlemen, I am Living Dead, and welcome back to Ion. As promised in a previous video, I'm going to go over today some of the mythic armor quests you can pick up in Norsvald. Um, you can see here I've already kind of finished a few of them since I already have some of the armor pieces. This is what the leather set looks like on a leather wearer. Uh, you can see there are other pieces to choose from. You do get a choice when you complete the quests. Just going to go over, first of all, where you can pick up the quests, and then after that I'll give a brief overview of some of the quests. The only one I'm going to leave out is the last one, which is uh, the Adventure in Time quest, because I was frankly too low level to do it. Um, this little chart I found in the patch notes, just to give an overview of the NPCs that give the quests. Um, this is, this, this quest, Oh Bother, can be picked up in Asfel Sanctuary in Norsewald. Actually, three of the quests can be picked up right in Asfel Sanctuary. So what I've done here is I've done backslash where, and then the NPC's name, to just kind of point out where the NPCs are. It's, qu it's just going to make things quicker to be able to go pick up all of the quests. Some of the NPCs wander a little bit, so it makes it a little harder to track them down. Ask Alumbra. This is where you pick up the white sensei. Now, Oh Bother uh, rewards you the boots, the white sensei rewards you the gloves, and the next one, Prison of Silence, rewards you the shoulders. And you just run in here to grab that quest. As I've already picked up and done the quests, you're what not going to see me getting them. I'm just kind of showing you where you can get them. The next one we're going to pick up is the Riddle of the Heart's Blood Cops, and you will fly to the Hell Canyon dear. of Lost Souls to pick that up. There's an NPC that wanders around Our the outpost down right. there that will give you the quest. Serve Asfel and flourish. And this one will reward you the legs. We must be aware of our surroundings. Now, uh, real quick, these outposts, they don't connect to each other, the flight, po the flight points. Hell, so you have to fly back to Asfel Sanctuary to, in order to get anywhere else on the map. So the next one we're going to go pick up life. is Anima's Curse. And you pick that up in Feather Fern Jungle, but you have to fly to Nightbloom Woods to get there. So you'll fly to Nightbloom Woods, and then you're going to travel south to get to Feather Fern Jungle Outpost. I have yet to actually complete this one because it's actually quite hard. Um, you need an alliance for this one. This is on a group quest. Um, though part of it can be completed in a group, I will go over that a little bit later. And there's the outpost. This guy's a wanderer too, so he's kind of like around the outpost. As for Lumbra, as for Lumbra. I already have the quest, so you're not going to see me receive it. Okay, so the last one. The last one was the one that I'm not really going to cover too much because I was really too low level to even finish it. Um, it's called An Adventure in Time, and it's pretty far out of the map. You can go pick it up. Unless you're like higher level, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Some of the mobs you have to deal with are like between level 70 and 75, and you're not going to be able to hit. They're going to resist a lot. 
And this quest um, is also an alliance quest, so I'm not sure how big the boss you have to fight at the end is, but this one is for the mythic weapon. So you'll walk to this outpost and you'll pick up your quest. Death to the white wing cowards. Death to the white wing cowards. Okay, so at this point I'm going to quickly go over some of the quests. Uh, we're going to start with Oh Bother. So this all occurs in Nightbloom Forest. You'll talk to a beekeeper and the beekeeper will have you come out at night and kill these little um, cur drones. You can see some of the cur drones around here. So you'll kill some of them and then you'll come back to kill the boss after talking with the NPC and whatnot. Um, definitely bring a group for this. The boss is tough. Um, you need a tank and a healer. Just, you know, enough to keep everyone alive. It's going to take a little while to take it down, especially since we're not really doing it at level. Um, all the mobs are red, you can see. And once she's down, you can use the item that you need for the quest and go turn it in. Okay, so the next is the White Sinsai, and you'll need to go to Aether Spring Lake to do this quest. Um, you'll go there initially to investigate and speak with a, uh, a spirit. He'll show you a cutscene, and then you'll come and nice talk to, to this you. forlorn spirit. She will ask you to come back at night, so you do have to wait for nighttime. And when you come back, she'll turn into a giant monster that you have to fight. Definitely bring tank and heals for this as well. Once she's down, you'll talk to her and then I think you go pick up a box. So the box is going to be inside the tree trunk where we're fighting her. See behind us, there's like an alcove. You'll go in there and a box will spawn you include it and that's the final part, the final piece that you need for the quest. Now, when you loot it, it's going to kind of disappear until, nice you know, and it'll respawn. So it's going to look like only one person can loot it. But it should respawn enough for your entire group to get the piece that you Hi. need. So it's going to look like no one's going to get it, but if you just hang out a little bit, you'll get the piece you need. Okay, and for the Prisons of Silence, you need to go to the Plateau of Aetheric Gales, uh, which is ahead of me down the path here. Once you run down the path, you'll be able to fly in this area. You'll fly to the Fate of Prometheus, and from there you will deal with the, uh... This is actually a pretty easy quest to solo. Um, all you have to do is kill the guardians that are trapped there, and they're kind of tied up, so they don't really put up much of a fight. <laughs> and then, after you do that, you'll talk to the NPC again, and they'll send you back to investigate the taunting acolytes, and you will kill them for an item to bring back, and that's basically the quest. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. So, this was very, very easy to solo. It's very quick, and you get shoulders for it, so it's good deal. This one needs to be done during the daytime. A lot of these quests seem to be locked by day-night rotations, so bear that in mind. Okay, the next one is the Riddle of the Heart's Blood Cops. 
and for that you will go to the Canyon of Souls during the day to investigate it. Um, Canyon, Canyon of Lost Souls. And you'll go pretty far south, and when you're down there you're going to kill these dryads and get some clippings from them. And after that you will then come back at night to kill Gollum, who will spawn way back in the corner over here. He's a pretty big boss. I, I, I recommend bringing a group, but I actually ended up doing this with two other people successfully. We, um, it was myself, a chanter, and a cleric, and we actually did pretty, pretty decent job. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to cover for today is the Alliance quest for Anima's Curse. Now, this is a bit more difficult. Um, it is an Alliance quest, however, the first part of it has to be done in a group. So, the first thing you're going to do is investigate the area, and once you trigger that part of the quest, it's going to ask you to come back down here during the day and get a feather of anima from a child of anima and bring it back to the NPC. Now, if you try to do this in, a li in an alliance and you um, kill the child of anima, only one person in your alliance is going to be able to loot the feathers, and everybody needs the feather to move the quest along. So what you should need to do is break out, break into groups, and in, as, as small groups come and kill the child of Anima for the feathers. Um, this also, this part of the quest has to be done during the day. They will not spawn at night, so you have to be here during the day. You'll see. I'll, I'll show. You know, you come to these little areas down here. They look like kind of like a feathery nest, and there should be eggs in them, just ahead of me. And so you'll stand around until daytime. <laughs> it's a lot of that uh, day and nighttime lock quests. And you'll see that they'll pop up. Okay, so you'll kill them in your groups. And then everyone gets a feather, so then once everybody has a feather, you're going to walk down the path and go to the um, Anima's Haunt, I think it's called, during the daytime. You wander down the road here. There's a lot of high-level mobs, so if you're doing this at level 66, 67, be super cautious. A lot of these mobs are pretty tough for someone at that level to be fighting. They're going to do a lot of resisting to your abilities, and it's just going to be pretty rough. Like, don't come down here without a group if you're that low level. So you'll take your feather down here, and um, I'll show you where you use the feather. It's a bit of a hike, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So the only other quest I'm not going to cover, as I've said before, is the an Adventure in Time one, because when I when I checked it out, a lot of the mobs up near that quest were way too high level for me, and I did try to take a few of them on, because like the Prison of Silence quest, I thought maybe some of it could be soloable, but it really wasn't. It didn't work out too well. So when you come to this spot, you're going to walk up onto this little island here and use your feather. When you use your feather, um, a little anima ghost will pop up and you'll speak to the ghost. Um, and the ghost will beg you to kill Corpus. Now, you'll wander back up the hill towards Anima's haunt and you'll find this gigantic boss. Now, I recommend that you wait a little bit for people to gain some levels before trying to take this out. I've seen multiple alliances just slam their heads against this boss and get one shot, basically. He's pretty tough. I mean, you see he's a level 80 elite. So, it's going to take quite a force to take him down. Thank you all for supporting my Ion videos. 
It's been a real pleasure getting back into the game. I'm so glad that people are enjoying these. Um, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. I will try my best to answer them, and good luck with your mythic year. I will see you guys in the next video.